welcome to part two of uh, concrete construction of buildings and as you can see here the concrete is all set up and has been poured onto the roof underneath the roof of course they've used loads of acroprops to hold up all the shuttering you can see they've got some bearers there that the acroprop sits under There's a shot of the uh, overall site with all the acroprops and reinforcement bar going out of the roof. On this one you can see some tubes, two tubes either side of that entrance. And just to see how the concrete is poured in there and how it works, we'll have a look at one cut open. On this slide you can see that it's got a sort of an aluminiumized uh, foil on the inside so that stops the cardboard from uh, disintegrating but it's easy to cut uh, at the end to leave you two nice pillars with reinforcement rods obviously right down the center. Another shot of uh, them preparing ready for uh, concreting. Here we've got a shot of a swimming pool, you can see that they've got all the shuttering lined up and this time in order to hold it to uh, the right width they've got uh, some boarding and some struts there just to hold that in place. And there's a pool that's been um, concreted already. Those are some of the formers that they use and the uh, reinforcement mesh. Um, the formers can be used to um, cast concrete behind. This shows a bit of detail on the strips that keep the wall the exact distance apart. On the neck, some pegs that are, that are driven in. Uh, if we look at the neck, how they help to hold the wall the right distance apart. There's a house with it. Uh, uh, already uh, acro propped up to do uh, the roof ready to pour the concrete on that by pumping it up and you can see another way of doing a, uh, a wall is by using the sort of um, again battens and sort of a, a, an A shape there to hold it in position This is quite an amazing one to show you just to how the how they create a set of steps. Look at the shuttering there at different heights using acroprops and battens to hold up boarding so they can cast some concrete with uh, some mesh in. Obviously they have the risers and that are cut out down the sides and that's that's finished off later, but just to show you how they set it up, what you get is this looking at the next slide. you can see how they're setting that area up. So what they've done is they're casting the bottom part first then the risers will go in with the correct sort of um, treads etc and then they can be filled to the top once you've got the reinforcement underneath. There's another one using tubes to create the base. Some of the materials, the sort of sands that they use. Again, methods of holding the shuttering just the right distance apart using those spikes. And the roof just going on. It's a metal roof in this place. These are one or two more formers you can get to create steps uh, into a pool.
showing you a bit of detail there on the sort of um, almost like a soffit area on the side of the roof there just with some little sort of struts to hold that in position and then plastic plugs to make sure that you leave the gaps for uh, electrical wires to come through again cutting using a specialist machine to cut the bar and bend it to the 90 degrees typically of course you can use bolt coppers with the rebar is uh, an area that's been uh, rendered finished up ready with the electrical box going in and there you've got your uh, your house already rendered um, just ready now for inside work and another one there ready to be rendered